Hi everyone, welcome back, Monica here, and today we're going to be learning how to use our bows on the strings. But first, let us revise our bow hold. So we've got to make sure that our fingers are going to stay curved, so we're just going to place, bend the thumb, keep it pointing towards the ceiling, we're going to place it under here. We're going to bring our middle finger to wrap around and meet the thumb, our ring finger is going to go over the dot, and our index finger is going to lean on this knuckle, sort of where the, in between the black and the silver part, and the little pinky is going to sit on top. So if you remember, we did a few exercises in the last video, or well, last two videos, I should say. So one of them was the windscreen wiper. The other one was the big circles. The other one we did was the figure of eight, like so. Then we also tried the down down, up. And the last one we did was the spider crawling up the wall. I hope you've been practicing all these exercises. Um, and what I would like to do today is we're going to give a go at holding our bow and placing it on the string. So let's grab our violins. So remember that our violins need to sit on our shoulder like so. Okay. Uh, so not over here. Even though we might want to see what we're doing, we want to have it on the side. Um, so the purpose of um, putting the bow of this video is to learn how to hold the bow. So we're going to start here at the frog, sort of right down where this black part is. Okay, in line with that black part. And when we're here, we're going to start with all the fingers nice and curved. And what we're going to do, we're going to just rest our left hand over here to give us some support. And we're just going to trace a straight line with our bow. And as you see, to get the bow straight, you would have noticed that my elbow straightens. But if you have a look at my right hand, you'll see that all my fingers are almost straightening out except for this pointing finger and this middle finger here. So all my fingers straighten out and my elbow extends. As I move the bow back up, you'll see that my fingers start to bend in and start to curve again and the wrist lifts and there you have it see how the fingers bend in so watch one more time so now I'm going to do it slow motion for you guys so we start with everything bent you'll see that my thumb is bent I'm making a nice circle my bow is parallel to the bridge and I try to keep the bow as parallel to the bridge as possible as I draw the bow outwards down towards the floor. So I'm going to just start moving my bow and you'll start to see somewhere about here I lift the elbow just a little bit then I relax my little finger and ring finger and as I do that I'm transferring the weight towards these two fingers. You'll start to see my fingers straighten out as I move towards the tip and my elbow is straight. You'll still see that my bow is still parallel to the bridge. Okay, then as I come back the other way, the fingers start to relax inwards as they start to curve. You'll see that my wrist bends upwards bow follows. So that's how we move our bow. So now I'm going to get you to try that on each of my strings. Okay, so let's start with the D string, please. So our bow on the string, and we're just going to keep our fingers nice and curved. And as we extend out, the fingers are going to relax. So let's try it. And then back again. straightens to get the straight bow and then as we come back in the fingers readjust the wrist lifts and the elbow follows in and one more time and there you have it now let's try maybe on the G string 
feet. For this one, we're going to lift it over a little bit higher. We're going to try again. beside you. So straighten the arm, let the wrist bend, let the elbow follow. That's it. The E string, the arm comes right down beside you. we move our bow on the string so a few things that we need to remember number one we need to make sure that our bow stays parallel to the bridge number two we want to make sure that as we move the bow that the weight transfers to our pointing finger and middle finger number three we want to make sure that as our wrist comes out that we're sort of pushing the wrist away and then as we come back we lead with the wrist and the elbow follows. So if you remember those three things, you always have very straight bows and you'll always make a good sound with your bow. So thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my video. Thank you, bye.